right, man. Look like the Broncos are asking for uh, a first or a second round pick for Jerry Judy. Let's talk about should the Detroit Lions be interested in, um, you know, Jerry Judy. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. And um, I think that's steep for a dude. I don't think whoever made the Pro Bowl neither, you know. So, you know, putting that 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 tag for him, and then he probably going to have to get paid in a couple years too, right? So, yeah, putting that tag for him is wild. Um, obviously, the Lions probably looking, you know, Lions fans probably looking for a receiver that's a little bit more big body in the build of, you know, DJ Shark, a little bit more big body. Um, can stretch the field, jump and get those balls. Um, you know, they got Josh Reynolds, who the other big body receiver. Now, St. Brown and, you know, Jamo ain't small. They both were about 6'1". So they, you know, ain't short, but, uh, you know, I think they just want to get him another, you know, possibly another bigger target. But, you know, Jerry Judy, he can get in the slot. It kind of reminds you of J-Mo. You know, I don't think he has explosive as Jamison Williams. But yeah, he can run the route tree. Just ain't had a lot of good quarterback play there. You thought him and Russell Wilson would go off next year. Well, yeah, he can run the route tree. He can take you deep. You know, I know he like to work out the slot a lot, but I think he can do some things on the outside. But, you know, his talent is there, but I'm not spending the first round pick, even the late. I'm not spending an early to mid second round pick. If I do it, so it's a late second round pick. And I understand people saying, well, it's not a receiver rich um, draft, you know, but it's some talent there. And I'm hearing there's some, you know, potential development talent later in this draft too. But I'm just trying to figure out why Sean Payton trying to trade all their receivers. It must, it must not be, uh, uh, they must not be in sync with Russell Wilson and they, and they young too. So, we're also not being respected in the locker room as a leader and everything he did in the league. And got to understand, he took a lot of disrespect from uh, Seattle Seahawks, you know, uh, behind the scenes. Um, the players and the whole, you know, thing he had going on, Future Sierra. And I think the Legion of Boom kind of got jealous of shit because he started getting credit. But without him, they wouldn't have won. Point blank, period. You know, they could have been happy with Matt Flynn and they wouldn't have won. They could have got Dak Prescott potentially. I'm just saying in the, in the parallel with another, you know, I don't know if they're the same. I know they were in the same draft, but they they wouldn't have won that. So you got to respect Russell Wilson. And people, you know, don't matter if you act like a hood nigga or you act like a goody two-shoes, people just always going to have a problem with you. They got a problem with you, they're going to have a problem with you. If he happy in his situation with, with Sierra or whatever it is, he happy in that situation, bro. A lot of people say, it can't be me. Yeah, you, you never know. You know, that girl is poison. You know what I'm saying? The right one come along, bro. Have, have your, your nose open, especially when you're young. But, um, but, I mean, I wouldn't mind it. I'm thinking more of a third or fourth, fifth. Maybe I would concede a, a late, you know, pick. Maybe I would concede a third and De DeAndre Swift or something like that. But to ask for a first round pick, I think it's kind of mind blowing. In my opinion, I think it's kind of I think it's kind of mind blowing to ask for a second round pick. So I mean, that's my opinion on it, or a first round pick for for sure. But he definitely got top talent. He just ain't had the quarterback. And I think him and Jared Goff can do some good. I wouldn't have been mad if they would have thought about getting Brandon Cooks. But uh, the thing about Brandon Cooks too is he just don't have no durability. So. You can't have a dude coming off an ACL injury and, and J-Mo and Brandon Cook. Um, you count on him. So you see how that went last year. You had uh, DJ Shark. I forget what injury he was coming off of. Foot injury, leg injury, knee injury, something. And, you know, he wasn't 100% ready, so he missed a nice chunk of the season. But when he did come back healthy, you know, he hit the ground running. So um, something to look at. But, uh, but you know, quite frankly, bro, I'm not mad at it, but I think a lot of people like the mindset of the TCU receiver. Um, I think a lot of people, if you're going to, you know, get Jerry Judy, somebody like that, I think a lot of people say, why not get Jackson Smith or Jigba? Um, somebody that could do similar things to what Jerry Judy, I think, you know, Jerry Judy's so good in and out of breaks, just like Jameson Williams, it's, 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 it's appealing. But if I'm Detroit, I just draft somebody. And the benefit of driving a receiver in the first round is you got him for five years plus a potential franchise tag. So that's just to me, that's just that's just common sense at that at that point. 
That, that's just common sense. That's just common sense. So even in the second round, you know what I'm saying? I think it's what, four years? I could be wrong, but yeah. Yeah, that's how I'm looking at it. But but yeah, Jerry Judy would be a great addition. I mean, the things you could do with St. Brown, Jerry Judy, and Jameson Williams is uh is 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 crazy. You can bunch them up, you can mix them around, you can throw Josh Reynolds out there with them. I mean, they all threats to move the chains, they all threats to, to go deep. Uh St. Brown is everything. He can, you know, take something short deep, he can beat people deep. Um, you got Jameson who can get in and out of breaks. You know what I'm saying? Just, you know, he in and out of breaks. He can run the route tree, go deep. Jerry Judy in and out of breaks, can run the route tree, go deep. So you got receivers that you gotta respect everything about. But if I'm a if I'm a if I'm gonna do it, bro, if I'm gonna go trade for a receiver, dude, it's probably gonna be DeAndre Hopkins. It's probably gonna be Hopkins. You know, and I know Jerry Judy is a more explosive receiver, but DeAndre Hopkins will will just make St. Brown just fucking on guard. Third downs would be a breeze for them. He just too good, bro. Just still, even after the pass suspension and all that shit he went through, he just too good, bro. He just too good to pass up. He gonna make he gonna make Jared Goff probably the best quarterback in the NFC, bro. Bar none. He gonna make Jared Goff the best quarterback in the NFC. You know, bar none. Because when he ain't open, guess what? He open. He precise route runner. So you imagine you got three capable route runners out there, from St. Brown to JMO to 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 DeAndre Hopkins, bro. Oh my God. Oh my, if you can run the football, it's over with. It's over. Now he might not be able to give you the explosion that DJ Shark can give you down the down the down the down the field. He just do it in his own different way. He know how to set people. He and what he gonna bring to that that offense and that 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 he gonna bring a wealth of knowledge to that receiver room and that offense. He gonna make all them better. I do it. I get him for a fourth or fifth, and I tell him, look, look here, man. You can prove it this year. We we we'll, we'll pay you next year. Oh, we'll restructure your deal this year, what you want. Woo, woo, woo. Most definitely. Cause the shit you can do with, with them with them three, dog, they 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 should have no problem. Only thing I, I would fear about getting them three together or another high potent receiver is Ben Johnson get away from the run. That's it. Ben Johnson with Jerry Goff, you gotta run the ball. Anybody back there, you gotta run the ball. Anybody. So they can't get away from running the ball. But if they continue to run the ball, bro, um, if they continue to run the ball with them, they'd be, un they'd be unfucking stoppable. They'd be unfucking stoppable. Especially if they get a running back that can get, they can, they can rip off chunk plays, bro. All it be is Ben Johnson, you know, just sticking with the run. Sticking with the run. What Hopkins going to bring to that, 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 that offense is just the final key. A veteran leader that still can play. So that's the beautiful thing about it. But uh, that's just my opinion on it. Uh, let me know what you girls and guys think. I wouldn't be mad at Jerry Judy, Corlin Sutton, but I ain't paying no first or second round pick for neither one of them at all. But that's just my opinion on it. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance to get notifications. We go live or drop the video. Financially want to support the channel, Cash App, Dollar Sign, CJ Good 313, Venmo CJ Good 313, PayPal link in the description. Peace.